before you can start running Facebook ads, there's a couple of things we need to set up. First, we need to create a Facebook business page for our store. Then we need to create a Facebook business manager account. Then inside of that manager account, we need to create a Facebook ad account. And then we need to create a Facebook pixel. A Facebook pixel is simply a piece of code that we're gonna put on our store, which is then gonna track all the activity that our uh, visitors are gonna be doing on our store, which is then gonna be the data that we're gonna to use to optimize our campaign. So we can see exactly what works and what doesn't work. And then once we have all this set up, we can start creating our campaign and set up our ads. All right, so the first thing we got to do is create our Facebook business page. So log into your Facebook account. And then here on the left side where it says pages, we want to click here. And then we want to click on create a new page. Then we want to give our page a name. So this would just be our store name. In my case, perfect paw apparel, let's say store. And then we also have to decide on a category. So this would be, let's say clothing. And then here we can also put in a description about our page and then click on create page on the bottom left. And then here we do want to make sure to fill in as much information as possible for our Facebook page, which will help us keep our accounts, our ad accounts healthy and not get us banned when we start running the first uh, ads. I'm going to skip this part for this video because I do have a complete tutorial about how to create your Facebook business page. I'm going to leave a link to this down below in the description and I'm going to skip, just skip through this real quick here and I'm going to move on to the next step. Now we have created our Facebook page and we also need to create our Facebook business manager or meta business manager, whatever you want to call it. So let's go to business.facebook.com. And then once you're here, click on create an account. Then here we're going to type in our business name and also an email address. Then click on submit. Now we are inside of the Facebook business manager. The next step is to create our Facebook ad account. So you want to come over here to accounts and then go to ad accounts and then click on add and click on create a new ad account. We're going to give our ad account a name, choose the currency and then click on next. Then choose my business, click on create. And now we have to assign someone who will manage this ad account. In our example, it's just going to be ourselves. So we're going to choose our own Facebook profile here. And then we're going to just uh, do full control. So we're going to tick this box and click on assign. Great. Now we've created our Facebook ads account. The next step is to create a Facebook pixel and put that pixel on our Shopify store so that Facebook can track everything that our customers do on our store so that they're actually able to optimize who our ads will be shown to. This is absolutely essential if you want to make sure you're able to optimize your ads. So let's go to data sources down here and click on pixels and then click on add. And then here you can change the name of the pixel if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on continue. Then let's click on set up pixel now. And then we have a couple of options on how we can get the pixel on our store. The easiest one if you use Shopify is just to use this first option, add code using a partner integration. So we're going to choose this option. And then here, because our store is on Shopify, we're going to choose Shopify. And now Facebook tells us to connect our Shopify store to Facebook. So we're going to need to go to our store, to our Shopify store here and start connecting our Facebook account with Shopify. So let's go to online store and then go to preferences. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says Facebook pixel. Here we're going to click on set up Facebook. And this will redirect us to the page where we can add the Facebook sales channel. So let's just click on add sales channel here at the top. And now, as we can see here on the left side, we have created a new sales channel for our store, which is Facebook. Now we need to go through all these steps to connect our Facebook account to this store. So let's click on connect account. Then here we need to connect the Facebook page that we have created before. So this would be perfect paw apparel store. Then click on connect. And then we need to connect the Facebook business manager account that we have also created before. So I'm just going to use this one here. Click on select. 
then connect. And then here Shopify is asking us how much data they're allowed to share from our store with Facebook. Now I would recommend to choose maximum here because that will allow Facebook to optimize your ads better. So I'm choosing maximum here and then click on save. And then here we want to connect the Facebook pixel that we have just created before, which is going to be the source of all the data from our store. So let's click on connect here. Then we have to agree to the terms and conditions and click on submit for review. So now you can see it says your shop is in review. However, that is referring to the shop on Facebook, which is not something we're setting up right now. All we want to do is be able to run ads to our Shopify store. And as you can see here, we are already able to run ads on Facebook and Instagram because we have now added the Facebook sales channel and installed the pixel. So we can now come back to our Facebook business manager and move on with the pixel setup process. So we can now check this box. I've completed the setup on Facebook and then click on next. Then here we want to check if our pixel is actually working. So we've got to go and get the URL of our website. So we can just go to our Shopify store, go to online store, click on this icon here, and then just copy the URL from the top of the browser. Then go back here to Facebook and just paste in the URL, click on send test traffic. Now, sometimes it does take some time until the pixel is active on your store. So if it doesn't show you that your pixel is active right away, don't worry, just come back in like 30 minutes and then try again to send some test traffic and see if the pixel is active. And eventually you should get to this page where you can see that the pixel is active. Then what you wanna do is click on next. Then here, let's click on finish. And now we want to connect our Facebook account and also our Facebook ad account to this pixel. So we're going to click on add people here at the top, choose our own Facebook account, make sure we have the full control over this pixel, click on assign and done, and then click on add assets and then choose our Facebook ad account here, click on add and done. And now to make sure our pixel works properly, we also need to verify our domain. So we need to go to brand safety here on the bottom left, click on domains, then go to add and click on create a new domain. Then here we simply put in the domain of our store and then click on add. And now we need to add this meta tag, which is basically just a piece of code onto our HTML code of our store. So all we need to do is just copy by clicking on this code right here, then go back to our Shopify store, go to online store themes, and then go to actions here, click on edit code. And then we want to go to theme liquid here on the left side. Now this looks quite confusing, but just don't freak out. Just follow um, what I'm doing here. All we need to do is just paste in that code in the header section. So here, as you can see, the header starts. So we just uh, click here, click on enter. So we get a new paragraph. Then we just paste in the code just like this. And then we click on save. That's all we need to do to enter the code onto our store. And now we can go back to Facebook and check if that actually worked by clicking on verify domain here. And there we go, our domain is now verified. Now sometimes it does take a few minutes or even hours until the meta tag is live and you can verify your domain. For me, it only took like a minute until I was able to um, verify this domain after I pasted in the code. But um, once you see that page here, then you're basically done verifying the domain. Great, now this domain has been verified. Now another thing we need to do is also verify our Shopify domain because now we have um, verified our main domain that people will see when they visit our store. Um, now we also need to verify our Shopify domain because when you go to your Shopify dashboard, go to settings and then go to domains, you can see there's the domain that you have assigned to your store, the one we have purchased, and then also your Shopify domain, which is this one right here. And Facebook also wants us to verify this domain. So let's just copy this domain as well, then go back to the business manager and click on domains. Then you're gonna to go to add domains again, click on create a new domain, paste in the Shopify domain, click on add. 
And then we just do the same thing again. So just copy the code here, go to our Shopify store. Um, so I'm gonna just show you again where it is. So online store, uh, then themes, actions, edit code, and then go to theme liquid. And then under the head, as you can see here, we just click enter and then just paste in the code for the second URL as well, click on save. And then again, wait like two minutes and then we can come back to the business manager here and click on verify domain. Now, if you're not able to verify your Shopify domain for some reason, what you wanna do is go to the Shopify dashboard, go to settings and then to domains then click on your currently used uh, domain as the primary one for the store. And then under domain type, you wanna set this domain as redirect. So click here, set as redirect. And then once that's done, you wanna uh, go back to your business manager, click on verify again, and then you should be able to see this screen right here. Once that's verified, you can come back to Shopify and set the other domain as primary again by clicking on this button. And now the next step is gonna to be to tell Facebook what kind of customer actions on our website should be tracked so that we can then use that data to optimize our ads. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the three lines here, all tools, and then go to events manager here. Here, let's click on manage prioritized events. And here we're gonna set up our events for both of these domains. So let's start with the first one here. Click on manage events, then click on edit. And now we can add up to eight different events and prioritize them as well. So we need to tell Facebook what is the most important event that we want to track on our site. So the most important event would be, to, it would be a purchase, a conversion on our store. So let's first choose the pixel here that is tracking all the events, which would be this one that we have already installed. And then we're gonna choose the event name. So this would be purchase right here. And then we're gonna choose another event. So choose the same pixel and we're gonna use initiate checkout here and then add another one, same pixel. This one is gonna be add to cart and then another event, which is gonna be view content right here. So again, these are gonna be the events, the actions that people do on our website so that we can use that data to optimize our campaign. The event of a purchase has the highest priority because eventually that's our goal to get people on our store and purchase our products. And then we have initiate checkout, add to cart and view content. So it's basically the customer journey from getting to our store to buying something. First, somebody views a product and then they add it to the cart, then they initiate checkout and then they purchase the product. So let's click on apply and save the changes. Confirm and apply. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other domain as well. So just manage events, edit, and then add all the, all the four events based on the priority here as well as we've just done before. When that's done, click on apply, confirm, apply. And now we actually wanna go and check if all the events that we have just set up for this pixel are working on our store. So let's go back to the events manager. And then here we make sure our current pixel is selected and then we go to test events. Then here we just choose the URL of our store and then click on open website. And now we are a new visitor on our website. So the Facebook pixel should already have been triggered. So we can now go back to the events manager and under test events, we can see we have a new page view. So our pixel is in fact working. So now let's go back to the page again and then maybe click on t-shirts here and then click on one of the products. And now again, we go back to the events manager and see what pixel uh, event has been firing. So we have two page views and then one content view, which represents somebody looking at one of our products. And now we can also just click on add to cart here. And now when we go back to the events manager, we can see the, uh, the add to cart event has also been fired. 
So the idea is to just go through the entire checkout process and see if all the events are working. Now you don't actually need to go ahead and buy your own product just to see if the purchase event is working because you're gonna notice on your store if you get a sale anyway and if you don't see it on Facebook, then you know that the purchase event is not working.